G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, as you know, I'm all about changing behaviors when we are talking about Copilot and Copilot's implementation. And I'm going to show you uh, a Copilot uh, agent that is changing the behavior of sales teams. So let's create a case study uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot agent. All right. And I'm going to click on Create Agent. I'm going to configure this agent. I'm going to call this case study study assistant and in the description well first of all let's have a look at my system my uh, my system prompt or my instructions we can see here that I've structured uh, the instructions here in different sections and we can see that I'm using markdown as the approach here so I've got my purpose I've got my core responsibilities I've got response guidelines I've got my output format standards I've got my voice and tone and limitations and boundaries and at at the end, I just give a little reminder to this agent about uh, its primary goal. So I'm going to jump up to my purpose and I am going to copy this little bit here and then I'm going to um, pop that into the description. All right, so we can see here, I'm popping that into the description. You're a case study specialist agent designed to help the sales team rapidly identify and leverage client success stories from our, I'll say from our case study repository, all right? And that will be our description. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of my instructions and then I'm going to pop that into the instructions box right there. G'day there. Now, if you would like those instructions that you just saw uh, being used in the sales case study assistant agent, head over to danielanderson.co forward slash agent, pop your email address in and I'll send you those instructions. You can have a look, you can plug it into your own agent and have a look at the structure and then utilize that in your future agents as well. Head over to danielanderson.co forward slash agent, pop your email address in and I'll send it to you straight away. Now, the next thing we need to provide this agent with our knowledge. So I'm going to browse for our knowledge source. Now, our knowledge source is a SharePoint document library. Now, I'm including all of our case studies in a document library so that we can continually add our case studies to the library. And this agent is then going to be able to look at those newly added case studies as well. So I'm going to select that as our knowledge source. And I'm going to scroll down here and I am going to just provide a little starter prompt here. So I'm going to say uh, co-pilot case studies as our uh, as our starter prompt. That can be the title. Uh, can you find all the co-pilot uh, case studies we have? Now, I've given it the instructions and I've given it some sample output and how I would like it to respond. So I'm going to create this agent. It's now creating and it's called our case study assistant. Now we can use this agent in the Copilot Biz Chat now. So once this is created, we are going to bring in this agent into um into play. So we can see on the right hand side here, I've now got my case study assistant. If I'm in Copilot uh, in the chat here, I can actually use my at mention and I can say case study assistant. Uh, can you find all the Copilot uh, case studies? Now, because I've fed it in my instructions, it's going to listen to those instructions and act as I have programmed it to. All right, so we can see here, I've got my case studies that are coming back. I've got the references, I've got the customer, I've got the key outcomes, the implementation phases, and it is listening to the instructions that I've given it, all right? Um, I've also got the links to the actual reference case studies as well. So you'll notice that I've got my little citations here. Now, rather than a sales assistant coming into my document library here and then having to open up my document, open up the documents and filter and sort and open up and then copy and paste. We can now interact with this case study assistant and I've got everything that I need to be able to quickly and easily get that information 
right at my fingertips. And that is changing behavior in how uh, sales teams are now finding information. So I hope that brings you some value today. The case study uh, assistant, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.